it's 12 degrees uh, and we are about to go in the Cracker Barrel and get some breakfast, 9.30. Uh, the sun is definitely out, so should calm down the black ice a little bit, even though it's still freezing cold. But uh, we're going to hopefully break through the storm and uh, head on down south. This is the office, guys pretty messy. I just kind of threw a lot of stuff back here, but we got to ship out some stuff online, some online sales. I'm going to print that out, go to the post office once we have warmer weather and start thawing out because we still have no water flow nowhere. Bathroom, nothing. So if we have to go pee, we just dump a little water to flush it down and uh, that's how that works. So and number two, probably haven't had to go yet, but probably have to just go into a, you know, restaurant or something. So back to the old days. But anyway, we'll keep checking in with you guys. So we've been waiting to go to this Cracker Barrel to get a delicious breakfast. And I don't think these people are open. This storm has just freaked everything out, man walking on grass and it feels like you're walking on concrete. Don't it? <laughs> yeah. They, uh, they called it a day on this one. and it's like concrete, I'm not kidding. Like, there's no smush to this at all. It's like, really like you're just walking on a piece of concrete and it's grass. Here it feels a little softer. This part right here where the snow is, this is rock solid. All right, Spike, take us out of here. on a scooter, huh, yo, boy? Scooters are more fun. Scooters and freezing cold do not go together. They just don't. The batteries don't do that good. Well, stuff is starting to melt. It's still cold, but that sun is sure helping. We just went to some uh, chicken place next to the Walmart uh, called Dodges Southern Style. It's pretty good two breasts for $1.99. They were out of a lot of stuff, so I ended up just getting the breasts. But, um, 
went to the gas station there and of course uh, it's real tight to move in the gas station and I finally get in a position to get fuel and then I noticed that the pump when I get out is down the pumps not working so I just drove to another Walmart here and going to uh, fill up here but feels like we're about to break through the the polar vortex here pretty damn soon and get down to some decent uh weather but yeah i've beat this uh trailer up pretty good yeah, get this stuff off i think that was a fresh dent yeah jeez i tell you pulling a trailer in this stuff is just like that extra icing on the cake of frustration can't move the same, you know? But it ain't too bad. It'll all be worth it when I get to where I'm going, I guess. Wherever that is, somewhere in Florida. But, yep, that's where we're at right now. In Mississippi. They say they ain't seen snow like this in a long time. I was talking to a guy at the chicken place while I was in line, so. The big old spike's been doing good. The generator's been running for days now without shutting off. And you've been safe, which is the most important thing. Yep, just getting more and more fuel. Starts adding up, man. 235 a gallon. Anyway, we'll keep going. Slow. It's about 12.30. And it's still crappy, man. This road is still very icy and slow. Uh, it's like it never ends. We're almost to Alabama. And it's still like this. Horrible, man. Right now we're doing a whole part of 15 miles an hour. still icy slick it ain't getting no better so we stopped at another walmart and i want to put my cables on but man i seen the most ghettoest stuff over here i don't know if the guy already left but this guy was chaining up let me see if i can walk over and find him his truck i think he already pulled out but it was some serious hillbilly stuff man the guy had actually took a regular chain, like a, a chain you'd lock up like a lawnmower with or something, just a regular link chain, and wrapped it around his rim. Then he had some bungee cords and stuff like that to go along with it. 
I think he already took off. I should have recorded it back when I saw it, but I didn't have my phone ready to go at that time. But yeah, we're going to put our uh, cables on. Yeah, I think that guy already took off. But boy, he had a setup going on his, uh, his truck there. He took tire chains literally, man. I know that stuff's clunking and plunking around on his uh, his uh, truck. It's tearing up his rim and everything. But anyway, let me get back over here to Spike. I mean, this is what it's like right now, ice rink. I mean, it is pretty dang slippery. Wow. So yeah. I bought these chains a while ago, these, these uh, cables. And I think if I was ever going to use them, probably now would be the time to do it. So I'm going to put them on just so we get out of this. Do about 30, 40 miles an hour at the most and see how it works out. So let's get it. have enough clearance it's real tight with these big wheels but we'll find out all right so this is the old box of chains that i got never even opened it it just stays under here just with these bungee cords to tighten everything up. Hopefully they work good. I'll have to find out. cart was actually frozen in the ice. I had to break it loose. That cart is.
sure hope these chains don't rub. Well, the chains so far are so good. I just took off with them on now. You can see them on there? Kind of a reach. But uh, I ordered some new springs for the, uh, the lift jacks. About 50 something dollars for those. I'm gonna have them shipped to an Amazon locker in Jacksonville area of Florida. So, we're gonna try to get back on this road and get out of this slush and ice. And hopefully I'll be taking these chains off here pretty darn soon, these uh, cables. So, yeah, that's where we're at right now. All right. This poor doggy is sitting out on the highway. Come here, dog, come here. Come here, doggy. Come here, doggy. Come here, come here, dog. going the other way. I hope she's safe. Be safe, doggy. Don't go out in the traffic. Come here, girl. Well, all right. Too 
a little bit of snow, which is, that's cool. But I gotta get these chains off because riding chains on a road that's not icy or snowy is gonna just eat them up. So this next exit up here, I'm gonna hop off, yank these chains off, and then hopefully be good from here forward, I hope. If we run across any more ice, hopefully it's just real minimal. So let's do it. Well, it looks like it did a little damage to the fender flare right here. Like this part flapping around even though I latched it down. And one of the uh, cables broke off here. And it destroyed my mud flap. It's just hanging off now. There's from before. Uh, it better stay clear after all this. This one fared a little bit better. Looks like nothing really damaged on this one. So once we unhook all this, I'll just pull forward and then should be able to take these off and actually get moving here with some speed. Uh, geez, part of the game. We are now well into uh, Alabama. We're about an hour away from Birmingham. And uh, the roads are so much better. As you can tell, that storm still had an effect out here. And it's uh, little flurries in the air right now. And I'm pretty confident we're going to break through uh, today, here shortly, to where there's no more snow and the temperatures start getting better, higher. And stores are open and life is normal. So, uh, Hopefully all this stress and damage and headache would be worth it. I want to see some palm trees. But we're getting about, uh, you know, 50, 50 miles an hour right now. So that's good. We're making good progress. Get on out of before the second wave hits, which is coming, I think, tomorrow. So we're going to be past everything, hopefully. About an hour from Birmingham. We have broke through the uh, snow area. Very, very little snow for now, anyway. But we called some stores in Birmingham to do some retail arbitrage. And a lot of the stores are still closed, probably because of the cold, I guess, or whatever. But, <coughs> excuse me, we're making good time. I want to head directly south, not through Atlanta, but there's no really big highways that go south from Birmingham toward Florida. They, they all curve back a little bit west, and I don't obviously want to backtrack. So I might have to go through Atlanta, then go down on 75. We'll see how that works out. But hey, look at this road. No ice and snow on it. That's awesome. This is the factory where they make clouds right here, guys. See that? See it's coming up from the ground. It's going into there. That's a cloud factory right there. In case you ever wonder where clouds came from. They have six of these across the United States. Alabama. Downtown Birmingham, Alabama. 